Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be answering a question. This is a pretty common question I've been getting recently and uh, we're going to hop into this in two seconds. Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go! It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. All right, now today's question, this comes from a soccer trainer, and I really resonated with this question because I have already walked the path with this exact question, and there are a lot of coaches that are subscribed to this channel that have also messaged me about this, all right? So I'll summarize his question. His name is Jose, and Jose asked, he basically said, hey Ben, I'm spreading myself out too thin right now, I find myself going and watching so many games of my clients and now the parents are expecting me to be at most of their their child's games uh, throughout the season and I'm not being paid for that. It's something that they're just expecting me to do. And I have seen this question a lot. And essentially what's happening is, Jose, you've gotten close with the clients that you're working with, which is great. Um, you've gone to watch some games of theirs, which is awesome. I have been preaching that since day one of this YouTube channel that every coach should go do those things. But now it's become an expectation with your clients that you will be there every game and they're not paying you to do it. So how do you draw the line with your clients and start either getting paid for that or you stop going to the games at all? All right. And this is becomes more common when a coach is either married or they want to have some downtime on the weekend and they don't want to be glued to going to games all right which takes time you got to drive there you got to watch the game you got to talk to people um, it can be a great marketing tool but if that's all you do every saturday and sunday it gets old and um even though you're doing that like you're going to get burned out like you're gonna get burned out, and that's exactly what's happening here to Jose. So here's what I recommend, and I, if Jose was a client, or if you're watching this and you were a client, this is exactly what I would tell you to do, and this is exactly what I've done in the past, and here's what it is. First, we need to create a service, all right? And the service is a game evaluation analysis, all right? And parents can purchase this service, so what happens is they can either purchase it and now you're being paid to go watch the game right? and, and provide an analysis or they don't pay and you don't go watch the games. Now, I'm only telling you to do this if you've already if you feel like you're spread out too thin, like you feel like you are you're doing this so much and, and you feel like you need to be uh, earning an income <laughs> of watching all these games. We need to create it as a service. That's number one. Then we need to tell all the clients, hey, if you would like for me to watch any of the upcoming games, click on this link here and you can reserve a time for me to come watch throughout the season. And that should take them to a page where they can enroll and pay you online. So they're paying you up front for that service. Now, I'm going to give you some good examples here. There are some coaches I'm working with that have implemented this and I, I helped them do this maybe two or three years ago, and a lot of coaches are doing it more now, but the way it looks is parents can buy either a one-off game that you can come evaluate, or they could buy a season, or they could buy two. It doesn't really matter how you have it set up, right? What matters is drawing the line between doing that for free and having it as a service. And if you have that as a service and you already have really committed clients, I promise you, parents will pay for you to come watch their child play. They want that feedback from you because you are you have an unbiased opinion uh, from the parents. You have an unbiased opinion from uh, your the client that you're working with from their coach. And the parents will really value that and they will pay you top dollar if you provide that as a service. All right, so you gotta provide it as a service. Then you need to tell your clients, hey, if this is something you wanna do, click here enroll. If, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. I'm not going to be coming to watch your child play anymore. And this comes down to just evolving your business and making changes 
and be willing to let go of things that you're currently doing that are ticking you off. And I think this is really hard for a lot of coaches to do because they're they're so um, in the weeds with their business and they're just going and going and going and then they finally realize, well, I, I can't do this anymore. So this is why you create it as a service. You'll see less people are gonna actually want to do that, but those who do will pay. So now it's an extra way to earn revenue with your business and probably gonna enjoy watching that game a lot more if they're paying you 100 or $200 to go watch it, right? And that's my opinion on this. So Jose, hopefully this helps. And if you're a coach watching this and you have questions for me, all right, all you need to do to get in touch with me is very simple, all right? On the screen here, you can see my phone number just popped up. Text me at that number. I'd love to get on a Zoom call with you for 10 to 15 minutes, connect with you, talk with you, um, hopefully give you some pointers with, with your business so you can grow and scale up. And that's really the whole goal of my channel. Like my goal of this channel is very simple. I want to help more kids. The only way I can help more kids and, and expand the, the way that I'm looking to expand with my business is by helping more coaches have better businesses, all right? So that means you're training higher quality clients. That means you you become the best marketer in your city. That means you become better at selling. These are all the things, all the tools that, that I work on with coaches uh, when I'm able to help. So if, uh, if you wanna go look at any case studies or any results of coaches I've worked with, go to my website, buildmysportsbiz.com. I'm sure you can sift through there and find hundreds of examples of uh, success stories. So that's it for today's uh, episode and uh, I'll catch you later.